Now on the wall, it's Matt Miller behind. One of six returners for the Sioux City Club. It's wrapped up the left wall where Babbage walks. 49 seconds to go on the power play. Babbage across, set up on a platter for Smith. A shot through, rebound, they score! On the backside, it's Ian Malcolmson and a power play goal gets an early strike for Sioux City. The same, they control the puck and they attack with speed, but it's been few and far between here tonight from Sioux City, just a little stretch in the second period. As Pospisil goes to the goal line, trying to feed it to the back side, a puck that bounces and goes in. I think Parker Ford's going to get credit for it. Second power play goal of the game for Sioux City, a friendly Tyson Event Center hop makes it 2-0. Have a look on the replay here, the crease Mouth pass deflects off a buck stick in front, trying to negate that backdoor pass. And it was Bricky who got in the way, and he'll journey to center with it. Chips this one to Brown. Brown impeded by Baker. Johnson gets there first up the strong wall. Brown tried to feather it back to Clement. Intercepted and taken up the ice by Ford for a three on two. Ford outlets now. Brink all the way across. Malcolmson alone, and he wires it wide. Buck bounds in front, it's behind Durney, and not seeing it was Durney and putting it away is Brock Baker. And it's 3-0, Sioux City. What a funny hop that was. Durney had no idea where the puck was. In fact, I don't think anybody on the ice did with the exception of Brock Baker. He'll switch his grip on the faceoff with three seconds to go. Two and one, and Sioux City shuts out Des Moines here on a Tuesday night affair. Final score, three nothing.